Today I will be conducting the CDL vehicle lap test. As I'm waiting for my air pressure to build to 120 to 140, and hearing the governor cut out, I'm going to go over the steps of my lap test. The first step I will be doing will be my air leak test. I will hold the brakes for one minute, and I should not lose no more than 3 PSI. My second step will be my warning device test. I will pump the brakes, and my warning devices should activate before 55 PSI. My last step will be my emergency spring brake test. I will continue pumping the brakes, and approximately 40 PSI, my emergency spring brake should pop out. As I wait for my governor to cut out, and hearing the uh, air pressure sounding, my governor just cut out. I now have 120 and 140, so I'm ready to begin my lap test. My first test will be my alley test. I will hold the brakes for one minute. I see I did not lose no more than three PSI within that one minute. So my pressure is holding. Okay, my second test will be my warning device test. My rear warning device has activated. My front warning device have activated. They both have activated before 55 PSI, so it's working properly. My final test will be my emergency spring brake test. My emergency spring brake has popped out and they both have popped out at approximately 25 PSI for the school bus. It's working properly. <laughs> 